Hi guys, I am Tom Wasu and I'm here to take you through biochemistry of carbohydrates. To begin with, we shall be looking at metabolism of glucose. The most important question for you to ask yourself during your study is what are the major pathways of glucose metabolism? So I've highlighted five of them, but I'll be talking about more and more of the pathways. So let's begin by looking at glycolysis. So how do we define glycolysis? From the look of the word glyco and lysis, we can actually explain or define the word glycolysis. So glyco means sugar, lysis means breakdown. So glycolysis is a series of reaction that ultimately breaks down glucose into two carbon dioxide molecules, two water molecules and two pyruvate molecules. The next will be gluconeogenesis. Gluconeogenesis. From gluconeogenesis, we can see the word glucose. We can get the word glucose and then genesis. So this is a pathway that turns pyruvate derived from amino acids and also from glycolysis into glucose. So some people look at it as a, a reversed process of glycolysis. Then we have glycogenolysis. Glycogenolysis. From the word glycogenolysis, we can see the word glycogen and also lysis. And we have said that lysis is breaking down. So this is a pathway that breaks down glycogen into glucose monomers. So why do you think glycogen should be broken down into glucose monomers? This can only happen if the external supply of glucose is lower than the demand. Then we have glycogen synthesis. This refers to the synthesis of glycogen, isn't it? Yes. So it is the synthesis of glycogen from glucose monomers. Then another one is hexose monophosphate shunt or HNP shunt. So this is a pathway that oxidizes glucose into NADPH. NADPH is a very, very important reducing agent. We shall be looking at the importance of NADPH when we are studying hexose monophosphate shunt. So let's go to glycolysis. Glycolysis has three major stages of subdivision, as you can see here. So our stage number one is trapping of glucose into the cell and the destabilization of the structure. So we shall be looking at um, how is glucose trapped into the cell and how does the structure get destabilized? The second step is breaking down of glycogen into smaller components. Then the third step will be harvesting energy from ATP and pyruvate molecules. So let's look at step one or stage one. So stage one aims at transforming glucose into fructose 1,6-bisphosphate in three steps. Step number one, glucose is transported across the cell membrane into the cytoplasm and then phosphorylated by an enzyme known as hexokinase enzyme into glucose 6-phosphate.